This weekend, the oldest Muslim organization in the U.S. is bringing a message of life to Indianapolis. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Chapman shows you why the local Muslim community is speaking out against the video and the violence it has spawned. It's Holy Day for Islam. At an Indianapolis mosque, it's time to talk about Muslims and bloodshed. Not just the worldwide images that raise fear and suspicion, but the ones that validate the sanctity of life. Islam really is about peace. That's the message the Ahmadiyya Muslim community wants to share through a blood drive campaign in observance of 9-11. Their goal, to donate enough blood to save as many as 33,000 Americans nationwide. It also comes as violence spreads across the Middle East in response to an anti-Islamic video that depicts Islam Prophet Muhammad as a fraud, a womanizer, and a madman. Muslims for Life condemn the video and the violence. It's totally ridiculous, but this, this reaction from some people of hacking websites and especially this unfortunate killing of the U.S. ambassador. Thursday, more than 500 students stayed home from school in Brownsburg, fearing a veiled threat left on the district's website by a hacker traced all the way to Iraq. I think it, people should be fearful because of all these uh, people around the world who just have this negative idea in their head that they need to do something. They need to hurt somebody or scare somebody. Congressman Andre Carson, a Muslim and a former Indiana counterterrorism officer, says he too is concerned. Having worked in counterintelligence and counterterrorism uh, and being the dad, I'm deeply concerned about any hacking that may take place, especially as it relates to our educational system. Carson says the golden rule to do unto others as you would have them do to you transcends all religions and is a good place to launch conversation, not violence. This craziness around the world, it just, uh, we need to talk about it and speak against it. Now, tomorrow's blood drive with the Indiana Blood Center is from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Zenabia Community Center on West 56th Street. Last year, 11,000 pints of blood were donated nationwide. John? All right.